guys is for the Swifties. If you are interested, or if you are a Swifty fan, <laughs> um, I've noticed that a lot of information about the recent Taylor Swifts online have been, they are okay, but a lot of people talking about them don't understand AI at all. They've never dealt with AI, they're mostly reporters. Now, I'm not a professional. I'm far from an AI expert, but I know quite a bit about it because I've been following it for a long time and I feel like I can help translate a lot of this problem because what's interesting, I'll point this out too, and maybe I, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> I'm talking up this, the Swift, uh, the Swifty fans. I don't, I don't even know the culture that well, so I want to point this out. If I'm saying that's weird, then you know, I'm gonna get boomer, boomer energy here. Um, but I, I noticed there's a lot of people that love Taylor Swift, and she has a lot of impact, a lot of political impact, and a lot of social impact around the world. So this is really important. I think if the Taylor Swift community understood the technology they could push the technology towards something better something that benefits everybody uh, instead of what we see here in this article so we're going to read the article and i'm going to dig through and dive into little parts that i see and understand and i might even bring up things that you've heard before that you hate that you think is a bad thing but the thing is with tools with the internet everything is just a tool the stuff that you've probably heard that you'll hear me talk about here has been used in bad ways, like everything else has. But just like with the AI technology, there's going to be good and bad that come out of it. Explicit AI generated uh, Taylor Swift images continue to proliferate on X. Wow, I can't even start speaking correctly words. Uh, we're just going to roll with it anyways. Instagram and Facebook. The continued proliferation, why do I got these words like this, of sexually explicit defakes on Swift on leading social media platforms underscores the challenge of stopping the spread of fake images once they're disseminated on the internet. Fake artificial intelligence generated nudes and sexually suggestive photos of Taylor Swift continue to circulate on social media platforms. Days after they first spread on Elon Musk's X, of course they gotta go, it's Elon's! <laughs> That's funny. Uh, having now made their ma way, having now made their way onto Instagram and Facebook, basic keyword searches of those platforms on Monday quickly turned up the fake images of the singer, despite some efforts to limit their spread. On Saturday, X stopped Swift's name from working in the search function, although alternative phrases still turned up the pictures. As of Tuesday morning, however, X had unblocked searches of Swift's name. So. Let's break this down a little bit. The big problem that the internet is having right now is what is true information and what is wrong information. Really, that's it. Like, because at the moment, information can be created so quickly and there doesn't need to be any verification of it. It's just like data right now is just a format. We can make photos and video content and news articles just from the impression of all of the news articles and videos and everything that people have worked on over the past 50, 60 digital data, and even further than that, with us able to import in old books and pictures that other people have made in history. So the problem with this is we have trivialized a lot of data. And what happens is when you trivialize a lot of data, the average person sees that level of let's say you see a photo right well what happens is rather than bringing up the value of an actual photo everyone brings photos themselves down to the value of absolute nothing so how do we differentiate between the two because we know that there's going to be billions of photos on the internet that are not real and not useful and just not good at all well you've heard the phrase before it's called nfts and the, that is a marketing term that we hate. But if you reverse engineer that statement and go actually look at the technology behind these things, really what it is, is about putting digital data into a container that has proof that it exists. So you hopefully could imagine going to look up Taylor Swift information and every single photo that you have that pops up on your screen could be information that has a fingerprint or has a little bit of proof that it was something from Taylor Swift. If you go to a concert and you take a photo from there, if you're able to 
throw a little fingerprint on that, you know, okay, that came from a Taylor Swift concert. You know that when you see a photo and it doesn't have that marker on it, the photo is completely useless. Now, I do agree, and we'll, I'm not going to talk about the politics of it too much, but like NFTs in some cases are valueless things. They're, they're relatively useless things. The thing itself, the photo itself, the photo of your memory at your favorite concert uh, is like is valuable to you because you were actually there. Right, you want to have that connection. That's the reason why people kind of keep their tickets, right, from the concerts that they love. But when you take a photo nowadays, at the, at the in the current state of the world, that photo is completely useless because it can be just put into this pile of other garbage information that's just being pumped out by the billions in this case. I'm not going. I'm not going to say right away. Go out and buy NFTs. I'm never going to actually say that. Never go out and buy NFTs, right? Unless you exactly know what you're doing, don't do it. But the technology behind it is what stops this. So if you want to be a real fan of, a, of anything out there, we need to start proving the data is what it is. We need to start adding little bits of digital information on it, onto it. Um, I'm not going to give us the full lesson here how this works, but the thing is, again, right now, this the pornographic inf I probably shouldn't even say this. It can be a YouTube video at some point, but this adult uh, style content of Taylor Swift is being put up at the exact same level at the moment as the real thing, but it shouldn't be seen that way. It, there's no reason for it to be seen that way. Just, I'm just going to see a lot more of it in the future, and if we don't can't differentiate between the two, well... Where's the value in any photo that we put up? Where's the value in anything? So hopefully that's just a quick little overview because I even just the first few paragraphs of this article like really get to me where it's like none of this needs to happen at all. So for example, actually I'll, I'll come up with a very quick and easy example of a fix to this. So you can imagine if that every single official photo that Taylor Swift puts, puts out, every single photo has a marker on it. So then when you search Taylor Swift's on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on anything, the only videos that come up, the only pictures that come up are the photos, are the videos that are tagged with that thumbprint, with that fingerprint, with whatever that little bit is. Now, again, I'm not going to go over to what the NFT thing is, but if it's NFTified, non-fungible, meaning it's, it's something that exists only as itself, and it's a token of that thing, then we can start to prove... Uh, prove photos, prove information a little bit more on the internet. And who knows, I believe the media, this is why it matters so much to me, I believe the free market media is going to be the first people to adopt these things. Because it's the better way of doing stuff. And then eventually they'll bleed out into the rest of the world, to news, politics, and whatnot. We'll have to prove data as is. But if you're a smart Swifty at all, go do some Google and you got some fun. If you really, if this problem matters to you, I don't care if you buy anything. I just want you to go out and read documents and how this stuff works because it's going to matter a lot to you. Uh, the continued proliferation of sexually explicit defakes of Swift on leading social media platforms underscores the challenge of stopping the spread of fake images once they've disseminated on the internet. Why do we need to stop the spread of fake images? We can, we can just proliferate the spread of real images, real tagged images. It's difficult, if not impossible, to contain them. Similar to material, similar material can be created and posted almost immediately, even if the original content has been taken down. A representative for Swift didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Neither did X, the company previously known as Twitter. <laughs> Meadow, which owns Facebook and Instagram, said in a statement, "No one should ever have to experience online abuse like this. We can imagine in the future, when a photo comes out of you, yes, you." And someone's like, I, uh, you know, that's a real photo and it's a, it's actually like a deep fake or uh, an AI generated image of you. If you look at it and you go, where's the tag? Where's, where's the, what private wallet is it in? Where's the proof that it's a real photo? And they go, well, you know, I took it myself, which means it's not connected to your thing. Okay. So then where's your wallet? Where, where, where 
Can you prove to me that this photo was taken on a camera? Because if it's NFT'd, if it's blockchained, you know the type of camera, you have all the information that built out there. So, yeah, it's not about filtering out bad data. It's about filtering good data. Um, one, oh, it's like one Facebook post containing sexually flagged by yeah, anything useful here. The platform left up AI generated Facebook posts that depicted Swift pregnant, as well as one that depicted Swift kissing the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. We strongly condemn content that has appeared across different internet services. We worked quickly to remove it from ours. Problem is, you, you can post a million more photos than anything else. Welcome in, Monty. Taylor Swift ruined Travis Kelsey. <laughs> I don't know who Travis Kelsey is. I'm not much of a boomer, dude. So, uh, welcome in, dude. How you doing today? Welcome in. Welcome. A handful of fake images of Swift began to spread after an identified, identified X user published them on Wednesday. The post was viewed more than 27 million times before Swift fans mass reported the account. This is this is what I'm pointing out. This data needs to be ignored. It doesn't need to be. Um, well, we are, we are getting to a problem on the internet. Where we're looking at things. We're we're judging how real something is by the amount of views or the amount of likes or the amount of interactions it gets. And I can't remember who said it, but once something becomes a metric, it no longer can be used as a metric. So back in the old days, subscribers on YouTube were a metric for popularity. Followers on Twitch were a method a metric for popularity. But once we realized that can be faked, then we switched. We went to interactions, comments, likes, upvotes. Now we we're losing all of that because fake information is being pushed so easily into these markets and then exploiting this interaction loop that we're putting together that we're kind of left. Um, we're left wondering what's real and what's not. On Saturday, X temporary block searches for Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift AI. Searching those terms resulted in a loading page that never returned results. But terms like T Swift, Taylor Swift Deepfake, and Taylor Swift. Uh, well, do I want to proliferate this? I know. I, I don't know. Well, I, hopefully it's been fixed by now. The images first posted on X last week have now spread to many other platforms. The rapid evolution of AI technology has once has made once arduous media manipulation readily available to the public. The problem is it's 100% fake. It is 100% fake. This is, without a doubt, it is stuff that should be completely ignored. And we're getting up in arms about it. So there's a solution, guys. The solution is ignore it. And I know it sucks and it's crazy, and but we need to be able to figure out on the internet how to value a real photo or real information versus fake information. How we're going to do that, I don't know. That's where you guys are going to have to figure that out. I'm not that smart. I just look at it and I, I think I understand it and I try and put all the information together. So, anyways.